Welcome to our presentation of the uh, Platino Benchtop power supply, specially designed for microcontroller fans among you. And um, the project will be described in the Elector April 2014 issue. Um, I've got my editor's copy of the magazine article here, and uh, I hope you'll be able to read the article when it appears like in print. In this short video, we'll be showing you just how the, the unit uh, works, really. As you can see, it's a pretty small unit, a compact unit. Its main ratings are 15 volts max out at 1 amp out. And, and there is an additional output, for, especially for microcontroller circuits, um, in which delivers 3.3 volts or 5 volts at half an amp. Um, I've got it connected up here right now, as you can see. I'm just powering a couple of power resistors to see if it all works. And um, the first uh, thing you'll notice is that the, uh, the unit is quite small, as I've said, so it doesn't contain a mains transformer. For security reasons, we've opted to use just any plain sort of old laptop power supply. These things are cheap. You can pick them up from, uh, from the shops. You can steal them from your children or your wife or whatever. That's what we do all the time at Electrolabs. So that's the raw DC power supply for this particular benchtop power supply. <coughs> um, it's got a one knob control. Everything is controlled with a single rotary encoder. Um, you can adjust the voltage and the current as we'll show in a couple of menus a bit, a bit further on. The, in, the intelligent part of the power supply is called Platino. This is a partly built Platino, which I'm showing to you, that is one of the ingredients of this particular power supply. Platino is a microcontroller board with an 80 mega power processor on it. Uh, it was described in like 2011 somewhere. You can look that up in Elector website. Um, it has a 20, uh, 20 character four line display in this case, which is mounted on the board at this side. And another thing to notice about Platino is that you don't have to populate the board entirely for this particular application. As you can see, it's got three controls here, the original version of Platino, the fully stuffed version, but for this particular power supply, we've only got one. So there's information in the article how to build your Platino and configure it for this particular application. The regulation parts are pretty conventional and consisting of a couple of switch mode power supply uh, ICs and some other analog stuff. As I've said, the thing has a single control, the, uh, the rotary control here. So you can step through the menus, do all your adjustments with the single uh, button. I'm running like a couple of volts at the moment, so I'm stepping it up to uh, 3, 4 volts, etc., etc. The increment for voltage is point, point 0.1 vo of a volt. So I'm just powering a couple of uh, power resistors here and basically heating them up and doing nothing. We have a yellow uh, display with, as I've said, four lines of 20 characters, which shows the instantaneous current on the two outputs. As I've said, there are two outputs. This is the adjustable one, which goes from 15 volts at max 1 amp. And this one in particular, I'll try to lift the instrument, is a USB socket, as you can see, hopefully from a distance. And that's done for convenience of connecting like small microcontroller circuits through a very cheap USB cable, which is very handy. So this is the usual banana output plus and minus for 15 volts. And this one is selectable 5 volts or 3.3 volts, as you can select through the menu. Okay, so that uh, is heating up uh, nicely here. And uh, the thing uh, is set currently to 1 amp maximum current uh, limiting. You can use it as a co constant current source by setting like any value you like from 0 to 1 amp for the current uh, output. So we'll be opening up the instrument uh, in a couple of uh, seconds and have a look uh, inside. And meanwhile, um, I'm going to offer uh, to sit my, uh, my cup of tea. Hopefully it... Uh, it remains uh, nice and warm. 
so. Okay. Okay, a look uh, inside the uh, Platino bench uh, top power supply. Uh, you can see the, the, the order of the, of the uh, assembly, uh, really. This is the front panel of the instrument. Uh, the next board <laughs> you'll come across in this order um, is the display board plugged on top of Platino, which is the next board. And then comes the actual regulator board specially designed for this, this bench top power supply. As you can see, there is no main transformer. There's a, a socket for the 18 volts DC input. There is a fan which works in extraction mode, of course, sucking the air from the case and moving it outside, if you like. And this is basically all built in a small Bopla plastic enclosure.